maybe someday I will figure out a way to film without light reflecting in my glasses, but today is not that day. Hi, I'm Shell and I'm a cosplayer. If you are new to my channel, welcome, or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Before we start, two things to address. Yes, this is a band-aid. I am a human being. Second, uh, this is the new fan art board. I don't remember the last time I filmed in front of it. It's actually been a while. But um, as you can see, we have like a new layout and some new fan art that someone sent me on Instagram. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I hope it's clear how grateful I am for people that make and give me these things. It, it makes me so happy. I look at it every day and it just brings me so much joy. So thank you so much to those of you who have sent art. It really means a lot to me. Now let's get down to business and today's topic and talk cosplay. Specifically, four simple and easy things you can do to improve any cosplay. Following the example of my internet crush, Jenny Nicholson, I have organized these into a convenient numbered list. And we'll get to that in a second, but first I want to reiterate, in case you haven't seen some of my other videos, that accuracy or skill or appearance is really not the end-all be-all in cosplay. I personally think it is very important to acknowledge that as cosplayers, we are essentially just nerds playing dress-up with other nerds. It ain't that deep. So although I do personally believe that these tips will help improve the appearance of your cosplay, ultimately cosplay is what you make of it and your own opinion is what matters the most. That being said, let's get into it. Tip number one, match your eyebrows to your wig. This is so simple. It will probably take you less than a minute and it really makes a difference. Now, you don't have to take this to an extreme. If your wig is like bright orange, your eyebrows don't need to be a perfect color match because honestly, bright orange eyebrows would be kind of freaky, I think. However, having your eyebrows in the same color family as your wig, maybe one or two shades darker, really helps with the overall appearance of your cosplay. If you're like me and have naturally light eyebrows, you are in luck. Personally, I just slap some colored eyeshadow over my eyebrows in the same color as the wig and it works perfectly well. If your eyebrows are darker, I recommend starting with a light white base, something like the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, and that will help your eyebrows kind of take the color of the eyeshadow more. Tip number two, add false lashes and nails. Personally, I started wearing false eyelashes with my cosplay about two years ago, and since then I have literally never cosplayed without them. That is how much of a difference they make. The thing you have to remember with cosplay is that in most cases you're going to have a bright intense outfit on and a bright intense wig and both of those things are very unnatural and they draw attention away from your face. This is especially important in photography and why cosplay makeup is usually a lot more intense than normal everyday makeup because you want your face to be like on equal standing with your outfit and your wig. And that's where I find false lashes really, really helpful. Just take a look at these two photos. Now these were taken years apart and obviously they are different cosplays, but they were taken by the same photographer. And the major difference is in this one, I am wearing false lashes and in this one, I am not. This is from my Heather Chandler cosplay I wore at Anime Boston in 2018. And I love, love, love the photos from this shoot. I feel so good and it was such a fun day and it's such a nice memory to have, but I wish I had been wearing false lashes in these photos. I had on four coats of mascara that day. Like if you saw me in person, my lashes were curled up to high heaven, but when I'm in front of a camera, they're gone. They disappeared. They do not exist anymore. So personally, I think false lashes really improve your cosplay. And added bonus, false nails do as well. 
Again, this is kind of specific to photography and photos of your cosplay, but if you're posing with your hand next to your face, or holding a prop near you, or just really anything where your hand is in the picture, maybe even on your waist, you're going to have a close-up of your fingernails. And if you're like me, you have very short, natural, not fancy fingernails. I don't want to call them ugly, because like, they're nails, who cares? But they're not pretty. And in my day-to-day -day life, I like my natural nails to be short because I have OCD, it's convenient, and um, yeah, that also. So with my cosplays, you are almost never going to see my natural nails. They are either going to be press-on nails that I glued, or they're going to be painted with nail polish, or I will be wearing gloves. One of those three. Tip number three for improving your cosplay, wear jewelry. Well, let me explain. A big way to improve your cosplay is by adding detail, and that can mean a lot of different things, like more intense makeup, more detailed wig styling, different textures and patterns of fabric in your cosplay, or for a super cheap, fast, and easy way to add more details, slap on some jewelry. This hand is plain and boring, with nothing happening. But what's on my other hand? Yes, I watch a lot of Christine, don't at me. Why, it's a ring, an accessory, a piece of jewelry, a detail to look at to distract yourself from my face. More details make a cosplay more interesting, and the simplest way is to add some jewelry. And I don't care if it's like not canon or not accurate. We talked about that earlier. It really doesn't matter in the long run. It's about having fun. And in my opinion, it is way more fun to look at a bracelet than a bare wrist. My fourth and final tip for improving your cosplay takes literally three seconds. It is completely free and you don't need a single thing to do it. Well, you kind of like need a spine, but I assume you have one of those. Tip number four, be tall. And I don't mean like be tall, I mean stand up straight. <laughs> now I know this tip might seem a little silly and maybe I sound like your grandma, but seriously, standing up straight will improve any cosplay. Now, posing for cosplay is a whole subject in itself that I could make an entire video on, but generally speaking, stand up straight, keep your shoulders back and your chin up. And you're going to look five times better, I promise you. <laughs> and trust me, I know this is easier said than done. All of my friends that have gone to photo shoots with me know that about every five minutes or so, my photographer has to remind me to lift my chin because I tend to turtle. Like a like a little like a little henchman in a in a movie, like a little Disney villain. But seriously, I promise you, standing up straight and like walking with confidence will make any cosplay look better. Unless you're posing as like L from Death Note. But even then, <laughs> it will look better. So those are four tricks for improving your cosplay. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any tips you'd like to share. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And um, if you make art, I always love it, obviously. And I don't have a PO box because I'm not cool enough for that but my DMs on Instagram, always open. So clearly I'll, I'll print it out for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye.